men have emotions. Uh, men deal with grief, they deal with loss, um, they deal with happiness and sadness and tears and connections to other people, whether it's a relationship or a friendship or family. And those things are important. And I try and create a visual that is, while it's focused on the male figure, it still is providing those those emotions and showing those emotions um, and how we still have to be tough and strong and uh, we're not we're not I am Michael K. Davenport I am a graphic designer by day and an artist all the rest of the time <laughs> I always liked to draw, and I did a lot of things when I was younger, in sports and theater and band and choir, and um, then I got into college and tried to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, and I always ended up just wanting to make art. Trying to find a career doing that was scary when I was young, and so I was like, oh, I'll do graphic design. and so I was doing graphic design and then started printmaking and drawing. I took a long time off because life happened and had to make money and was finding myself. And so I started drawing and then in the last year I was like, I, I need to be making art and it needs to be tangible, something that you can see and touch and don't touch it, but <laughs> you could if you wanted to. And, uh, so that's been the last year, really, really focusing on that. One of the first abstract artists that I fell in love with was Rothko and his big color paintings and went and saw his, uh, the Rothko Chapel in Houston and, you know, these giant, you know, out of this world size paintings and it's just color and how it can move you and change you and going to New York and seeing, you know, the Museum of Modern Art and seeing art that you've seen in books and, you know, online in person. It's like, holy, holy crap. <laughs> this is real. Somebody sat here and painted this the same way that I do, draw the same way that I do and look at what this does to people and brings them together and so but Mark Rothko is my my number one probably I really like I like drawing with pastels and charcoal there's something about like that hard mark making that is really satisfying um, and I like the way that I can erase and change and move it uh, to give different effects to get a different stir up a different emotion so that's how I prefer <laughs> getting in a practice of making. I think that is the hardest thing to do, especially because it's hard to make a living off of it. So having a full-time job, having kids, having a spouse, um, having life around and carving out that time for myself to make art I think that is like the first step of success. If you can get to that, if you can get to that point, that's great. Um, getting the opportunity to show your work is, is so rewarding. I was hype. I was so excited. I was like, yes, this is what I've been wanting to do. This is why I'm doing this. Part of the fun of making art is figuring it out because it never works out the way you want it to. It, you know, it's like, I want it to look like this, or I want whatever I'm, the paint or the charcoal or pastel to do this. And you have a good idea, but you learn from it. And then you've got an experience to either keep running with it or to go on a different path and follow it or get back on track with what you were trying to say. So it's, Every, and every piece is different, just like every song would be different. You know, it's like you, you have this idea and 
Let's hope it works, but sometimes it doesn't. But sometimes it works out better than you planned in a different direction. Whatever happens, happens, which is where I kind of like to push like the Rothko, where it's like, this can be abstract. It doesn't have to be exact. And you get more emotion, I think, from that, which is fun. In this day and age, everything's been done. And you know, you hear that all the time. I've heard it, you know, in school, which was 10 plus years ago. It's like, everything's already been done. You're not gonna create anything new. Uh, but I think like kind of harnessing that and just making art for myself, I, that's where I think I thrive the most is making art for me and helping deal with my emotions and processing things that have happened in life. And it's very important that my art is for me. And if anyone else enjoys it, which happens, it is very satisfying and makes it so rewarding. It is interesting to see people reach out and be like, hey, I really loved this piece that you've posted or you're working on. You know, it reminds me of this. And how many times that has nothing to do with what I think it is about, but that doesn't make it any less important. I want them to have an emotion. I don't want it to be, oh, that's a cool landscape and walk by or Oh, I like that color and walk by. I want there to be this emotional reaction where it's relatable, where somebody else feels something and, hey, I've experienced that too. And somebody else is experiencing this and this person experienced it and created something out of it. Um, if I can do that, then another success point because that's exciting. I think the community of artists here is fantastic. Uh, again, I'm new back to the scene, uh, but I went to school here. I graduated from Wichita State, and there are still a lot of people that I went to school with that are still here making art successfully, whether they've become professors or they are uh, just artists. It's super satisfying and it, it can be done. Uh, which is awesome to see, but getting your your reach farther than that, I think can sometimes be difficult. I want my, my thoughts, my emotions, my creativity to also be a part of the landscape here. Um, small town, a lot of gay people move away. I, I did, uh, and a lot of them don't come back and I think it is important for, especially as a father now, it's like, it's important for there to be role models, for there to be um, people like me that I wish I would have seen when I was a kid in the same area, doing the things that they want to do. And I strive to be that. It's hopefully I'm making an impact a little bit. I mean, I, I have on my kids and so that's, I guess, success. But if I can be that person for some other kid, that's like, I like to make art and I want to draw and they know they're gay at a young age like I did, then they feel safe, feel seen, so.